Every story has a victim and a villain, or at least one victim and at least one villain. So let's say you go to therapy and you share your story to the therapist, and someone has treated you badly. Someone is the bad one. Someone is the villain. And of course, the therapist will agree with you that you are the victim and someone else is the villain because, duh, guess what? It's a business. It's their job. And you are the client. You are the customer. You are the paying customer. So they want to keep you for as long as possible so they can make more money. So they will tell you exactly what you want to hear. So they will agree with you. So now we're trying to find who the villain is. So the best solution for the therapist and for you, but not for your pocket, but for your mental health is to name the villain someone that would never be their client and that is narcissists. We don't go to therapy. That's why therapists hate us so much. Not because we're the bad ones or the villain ones. It's convenient. It's convenient to be the villains to their clients, to their victims' stories, so they can profit.